All right, so we have the game parts here. We have marker, um, color pencil, and paint, palette, water. A lot of stuff to remember. Brushes, check, check, check. My paper, which I just remembered. I should write my name on it because sometimes you don't remember what it looks like. Marie. And normally I would do this with a pencil, like a regular pencil, but, okay. So first thing I need to do is turn over one of these. So that tells me I'm gonna make my element that I choose from here. He's right, I forgot something. All right, I'm gonna choose this. This is, um, I get to choose all those reds. And I have, this is line, that's the type of line I'm making, and I'm making it roughly in that shape. Now the, what am I missing? Media. What media am I using? Am I gonna, so I have to check, go here. Draw, okay, so draw is this or this. And I think I'll choose, I'll choose the, uh, it's kind of funny because I have this already for my name, isn't it? Now, it is sort of a coral, isn't it? It's like a reddish. I'm gonna choose a couple of reds. They don't have to match perfectly. Notice that this, I'm choosing the pink. That's a red too. You got a pinkish. Ah, thank you. I could even go with this one. So, I'm gonna play with all of the, my reds. And I'm gonna do it like this on my big paper. Does that make sense, Chris? Does that make sense, um, Tenley? Sometimes I, try, I check my, check my uh, memory. All right, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for, like, so roughly that's where I'm working. See? Or I could do it like this if I wanted to. You know, I could hold my paper this way, and I could say I'm going to use this corner. Does that make sense so far? Did I confuse everybody? And I'm using this, is the one I drew. It's sort of like, it's the card I drew, pardon the pun. Um, sort of like, well, how would you describe that line? Trees. Trees? Like Plants. Plants. Anybody else have a descriptive word? A bunch of like arrows. A bouquet. Arrows. So like V's. Like you know, Wheat. like the back of Birds. like an arrow. Yeah. Like the back of a bow and arrow, like that. Yes, all different ways of describing Wheat. that visual image, but they're going from large to small, and they're going. So let me just go. Let me do that. And let me think about. I could go in all different directions, and I'm not, I could go this way, even though on the card, most of them are going in one direction, one direction, I always think of that band, but you guys thought maybe it, it's not as popular as it was, does anybody know that band, One Direction? Me. Uh -huh. You too? So you see how I'm trying to fill it in? I'm trying to, this is just giving me something to go on to start. That one I started working small to large. And I'm really trying to just fill it in. Um, one more. Is it, is it okay if I overlap? Mm -hmm. Sure, why not? And then I can, maybe I'll thicken some of those lines. Just for, I don't know. Cause I, cause I can. I for can. the fun of it. Yeah, for the fun of it, and because I think it would look better. Because I'm making a decision here, kind of on the fly, that wasn't expected. But hey, I think I need a little thick here. See, artists do that all the time. They just look at it and they go, hmm. I think I, I think I could do something right here. I think that I, I, yeah, that feels good. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. You know. So that's that. Let's go round two. Put this one back. 
Let's see. This one is kind of, oh, that's a weird. So I'm going to go, and this time I'm going to draw paint. Good. I'm glad I got a different one. And this time I'm going to purple. So I'm going to, this is where the palette comes in. We're not going to get to finish this, but we'll start with this tomorrow. So you get an idea. So I got purple. Notice I'm making it on my tray so that I have my own supply. And what's the element? Okay. Um, what do you call those things? A castle wall. A castle wall. Mm, I like that. Yeah. Blocks, bricks. But I'm trying to kind of make it like that. I need a little more. Maybe a belt? A belt. Hmm. Mm. Yes. Like if you were holding something, like those pockets. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I like the castle wall best because um, I like castles. I'm into castles. So I'm going to do a little variation of that and tone this like a stair. I think I got a little... And I'm, I'm making my purple darks and lights. So they're not all light, light. Some of them are going to be straight from there. And this time I'm going to go right over. Because I know that I can overlap this here. And maybe I don't go... Maybe I take some of this purple. Maybe I go more wide. So you you can vary. It gives you a starting point, the card. You know? And I'm overlapping. Now, my paint is a little dry. And it looks like it's mixing a little bit. But, do you get the idea? Yeah. You do? Good. All right. So let's try to see how much maybe we'll be able to do two and if it's a little bit wet this is when we're going to bring it over to the drying rack and if you there boom tomorrow it'll be there so everybody needs a palette everybody needs a piece of paper so why don't we start with that and a brush everybody come and get a palette a brush and a piece of paper 